Hey YouTube, this is Dak13, and in this video I just wanted to give you all some information about the 4.1 jailbreak and about some of the jailbreaking tools that are already out that you can use to jailbreak on your device if it's on 4.1 and some of the tools that will be coming in the near future. So first off, I'm going to say the two tools that are already out. One is called Red Snow. Now, unfortunately, Red Snow is only available for the Mac, and it only works for the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G non-MC model. So if you have one of those two devices and a Mac, and you're on 4.1, then you actually can jailbreak right now. And so you can just download it from this website. It will be in the description down below. And basically, you can use that. So that's, the job that's one of the jailbreaks that are already out now. There's two of them um, total. But unfortunately, like I said, it's for Mac, so I couldn't make a tutorial for it because I don't have a Mac. I have a PC. Now let's do. Now I'm going to show you the second jailbreak, and it is called Snowbreeze. By simply going to that website, you can download it right there. Um, I already have a tutorial for this. So it'll be um, should be an annotation somewhere now, and there should be a link in the description down below. So it actually works for like the first gen iPod Touch, second gen, and third gen. So it works for all the iPod Touch models except for the iPod Touch 4G and all the iPhone models except for the iPhone 4. But unfortunately, Snowbreeze is pretty complicated because you have to be pre jailbroken on 3.1.2 or whatever. You can be on any firmware, but you're not really jailbreaking on 4.1 unless you have an iPhone 3G or a non-MC iPod Touch 2G. Um, with Snowbreeze, if you don't have any of those two, if you don't have those two devices, then you pretty much have to be pre-jailbroken on 3.1.3 or whatever. So it's kind of complicated. But if you are desperate for a jailbreak on 4.1, then there, are, like I said, there should be a link in the description. All right, so now let's get on to the main thing everyone's been talking about: Green Poison. Greenpoison.com. Poison. The second O is a zero. This is the big jailbreak. As you can see, this is their logo. So Green Poison was at first going to be released to jailbreak 3.1.2, but then GeoHots came out with Black Rain. So at first, Green Poison was being worked on by the Chronic Dev team um, to jailbreak 3.1.2, and everyone was waiting for them, everyone was waiting for them, and then everyone was getting so mad, and so GeoHots then released his Black Rain, which was awesome, so they kind of stopped working on it. Well. They kept on working on it, but they stopped thinking about releasing it or anything because no one, they had no more pressure because there was already a jailbreak that was just released. But uh, anyway, like a few days after 4.1 came out, um, a developer or a dev named Pod2G found a exploit called Shatter. It's capital S H A and then lowercase T T E R. It's not. It's like the Shatter exploit, and that exploit will be used in the Green Poison program. It's known as a tethered for life exploit. And so meaning it would be extremely hard for Apple to patch it. Like patch it and so they'd have to do a whole bunch and which most likely they wouldn't. So for life, like on most firmwares in the future, this shadow the shatter exploit can always be used to be a tethered jailbreak. It's just getting the untethered jailbreak that um everyone wants. But that's why they called it uh, tethered for life. They were gonna call it tethered for life, but then they thought that would um, disappoint people, so they called it shatter. And so, anyways, Green Poison will be able to jailbreak the iPod Touch fourth generation, the iPhone 4, and the iPad all on 4.1. And it depends. So, what I've been hearing from whatever his name is, Post Six Ninja, Post Six Ninja. Uh, from his Twitter account, you can follow him, I'll put him in the description. What he's been saying is, Green Poison will be a super semi-tethered jailbreak. And what I mean by a super semi-tethered jailbreak is, at least this is what he's saying, um, you can reboot your device, um, like tethered jailbreak, You when you reboot your device, you have to plug it back in and rerun the jailbreak. Well, a super semi-tethered jailbreak, remember this is what he said on his Twitter, I don't know if we'll, I don't know if it's true or whatever, but it's where you can boot up your device, but in, you can't slide to unlock, so you can't get past the lock screen, so you have to plug it in from there. And so that's what they're saying. So for the iPhone 4, the 4 Gen iPod Touch, and the iPad, I think it's going to be a super semi-tethered jailbreak, which is fine with me because I have a 4 Gen iPod 2, and I really want to jailbreak it. 
and so I really can't wait for it to be released because most of the time when I'm using my device I'm around a computer um, like when I'm in the car or on a drive somewhere I'm using it like maybe on like a drive down um, to um, vacation I always, my, I always have my laptop in the car and normally like most of the time I'm using my device in my house and I got my computer there and so it really doesn't matter for me but for a lot of you it may matter so um, a super semi-tethered jailbreak might be bad news for some of you because I don't really think it's going to be untethered for the three new devices, which is the iPad, iPhone 4, and iPod Touch 4th generation. But for the other devices, the other iPhones, um, the other iPod Touches, it should be an untethered jailbreak and it should work great. Uh, what I'm guessing is, I'm actually guessing it's going to be like Black Rain. I'm guessing it's going to be a real simple program that you can use on your PC or Mac. And I'm guessing it's going to be a ton like Black Rain. Um, I may be wrong. It may be like Red Snow. It may be like Snow Breeze where you're restoring to a custom firmware like that. I really don't know. But right now what I'm guessing is it's like Black Rain. At least the UI and the jailbreak. Alright, so now that that jailbreak's finished, I think it should be coming out in probably two weeks. Two to three weeks. Today's the 1st of October. So in two to three weeks, I think it'll be coming out. And so now the second jailbreak is... Let's go to the dev team blog. Recently... Shattered iPod Touch 4G from the dev team. Muscle Nerd recently released a video, which was this one right here, showing his iPod Touch 4G jailbroken using the Shatter exploit. However, he jailbroke it not with green, um, not with green poison, but he used Ponage tools. So, in the meantime, we put Pod 2G's exploit into a beta version of Ponage tool to test the waters. The Shatter exploit was enough to convince the iPod Touch 4G to restore to our custom IPSW. Alright, so that's a good thing. They're, they got Ponage tool beta that uses the Shatter exploit and um, they've jailbroken the iPod Touch 4 generation. But Ponage tool is only available for Mac. so. Um, I would hope Green Poison is released before Ponish Tool because um, Ponish Tool will be on Mac. Um, but just to let you know, Ponish Tool I think will be coming out in like two to three weeks, maybe after Green Poison I'm guessing, and it will use the Shatter Exploit. So if anyone has a Mac, it will work for the same device as Green Poison because you're using the same Shatter Exploit. Alright, and lastly, the last program that I think um, well, actually, one of the first programs I think will come out. Um, so this basically this is the last program I'm talking about. It's going to be Red Snow, the exact same one that's already out, but I think it's going to be out for um, Windows in about a week. So currently, it's as you can see, Mac OS X Windows is coming soon. Um, so this is the last jailbreak I'm talking about. I think it's going to come out in probably about a week, like I just said, for Windows users and it'll just be used to jailbreak the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G non-MC model. And so remember that Red Snow and Snow Breeze cannot be used to jailbreak the iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4 generation, or iPad, um, but the ones that we'll be able to will be Green Poison the new, and the new Ponage tool. And then maybe even after those jailbreaks are released, maybe I Hate Snow will make a Snow Breeze with the Shatter Exploit or whatever will happen. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video please thumbs up, leave a comment down below and also please subscribe, um, so remember to subscribe so more because I'm going to be releasing as many updates as possible and I hope that I can be one of the first people to release a jailbreak tutorial for Green Poison when it comes out. So thanks for watching guys and see you all later.